In this video, we will take a look at the types of graphs we have in Illustrator. There are basically three ways of changing the type of your graph. With the graph selected, we can move to the object menu. And all the way down here, we got the graph submenu, from which we can choose type. We could also double click on the graph tool in the tools panel. Or we could right click or command click on a Mac and choose type. Either way works, but you have to find out for yourself which way works best for you. So, since we have the types of graphs box open, let's see what kinds of graphs we can create in Illustrator. We already know what a column graph looks like. The second one is the stacked column graph, and notice that we don't have a preview box down here, so we have to click OK to actually see the graph in action. Now I'll right click again and choose the next graph, which is the bar graph. And now let's repeat the process for all the other graphs. The stock to bar graph. The line graph. The area graph. The scatter graph. The pie graph. And the radar graph. Along with the type of the graph, we can choose the position of the value axis. Notice, however, that not all graph types have value axes. Now, the style options right here are affecting all types of graphs, so we can add a drop shadow to columns. We can put the legend on top of the graph. And the first columns and first row in front options will determine how columns, bars and lines overlap. As far as these options go, they will change when the type of the graph changes. For the column graphs, we can change the column and the cluster width. For the bar graph, we can change the bar width and the cluster width. And if we choose the line graph, we can mark the data points and make the lines go from edge to edge. We can choose whether we want to or don't want to connect the lines, and we can even make the lines thicker by making them filled. We don't have any options for the Area Graph tool, but we do have some options for the Scatter Graph tool, and as you can see, they are more or less the same as the Line Graph options. As for the Pie Graph, we can choose not to display the legend, set it to Standard, or make the legend sit inside the wedges. We can sort the wedges here, and we can make multiple charts to be displayed gradually. We can make them even or stacked. As for the radar graph, the options here are the same as for the line graph, so I will leave them for you to experiment. So these are the graph types and the graph options in Illustrator. Remember that you can't change the graph type by going to the Tools menu and choosing a different graph. You have to have one created and selected, so you can either right-click on it, double-click on the Graph Tools, or choose a different type from the Object menu, Graph, and then Type. So now we know how to create graphs, how to enter the data, how to change the types of graphs, and what graph options we have. It's time to move on to the more design part of the class, so let's take a look at how to stylize the graphs in the next video.